Hey everybody, it's Jen with Cake Tastic Cakes, and I'm going to show you how to make a cake shaped like a bed. And this is a very versatile cake for teenagers or, you know, honeymoons, whatever. But it's easy and it's cute, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, if you see me use any tools or supplies that you can use during this video, if you check the link in the description below, it'll take you to my website and it'll show you all the links and it'll be able to help you out. All right, now I am using gum paste to begin here. I have it swirled, I used um, brown food coloring and white gum paste and I swirled it in so it has more of a wood grain retention to it. And I'm making the headboard and the footboard out of it. So I have my rectangle that I cut the two little grooves out at the top there of the screen. That's going to be my footboard. And this big tall piece is going to be the headboard. And again, I cut a couple niches out of the sides. I'm going to clean up the top to make it a more dramatic swoop, if you will. Uh, while well, the footboard has a more subdued swoop, so a swish, a swoop and a swish. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I'm going to cut now four pieces, four long rectangles. Those are going to be the end pieces to my headboards, or I guess they'd be the legs of the bed. So yes, the legs of the bed there. They're not going to have to support weight, so don't worry about that. Just trim down the footboard in order to make them a height that you like the looks of. And also I am using gum paste here because I want them to stand up and be freestanding and firm. You could use fondant in this case, but I would recommend adding some Tylose powder or CMC powder to it to make it stiff. As far as the cake itself, that's going to be the bed. And I have just a, it was a rectangle cake cut in half, stacked on top of each other to make the mattress. And it's just a vanilla cake. I prefer when I'm doing cakes shaped like things like this to use um, buttercream that is the American buttercream or crusting buttercream just so it holds its shape better. Uh, this is just some white fondant that I rolled out and I'm going to lay over top of my faux mattress there. I'm not worried about the ends. You can see it ain't the prettiest little fondant job out on the internet. <laughs> there are some people who, I, I don't know if they've been in the military, they could, their corners are so tight you could bounce a quarter off of those cur those folds and everything. But this is not going to be one of those situations. But I'm not worried about the end because the end pieces are where the footboard and headboard are going to go. So you're not going to see them anyway. So, yeah. A little, little life hack right there. If, it, if you're not going to see it, then eh. <laughs> you know, I'm not so worried about it. My sides, though, that you're going to see are fine, though. Okay? So I have smoothed it down. I've trimmed off the edges to remove all the excess. I am patching that one end after I just talked all that smack about, you know, not worrying about it. But that's only because the footboard and the headboard are raised up a little bit, so I want the white to show underneath, that's all. Now this blue is going to become a blanket, and because my bed is messy, I'm not worried about it being a good shape. In fact, I'd rather it be a little curved so it'll have a little more natural move and flow to it. I'm very gently making some hash marks back and forth across it to give it more of a quilting look. Let's see what I'm doing there. Quilting, a blanket for the bed. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> and so I'm just going back and forth over it with my knife. Be careful if you do this technique that you don't go too deeply or else you're going to have tears in your blanket. This is another piece of white. I'm using it to make a top sheet. And you can tell probably how old I am by saying things like making a top sheet <laughs> to go on my bed. I know it's not necessarily... Um, as commonplace in some homes, but you know, in mine it is, and I wanted also the color diversity or the color contrast, I should say, against the blue blanket. These little squishy rectangles are going to become pillows, so I'm just pinching out one end to make like an opening in the pillowcase. You can see I'm using that tool right there to separate it out to make it look more like a pillow inside of a pillowcase. I've rounded off my edges and I'm going to put again a little pressure marks to make it look like the seams of pillowcases. And I have two of them there because why the heck not? It just looks a little better that way. And as long as you keep doing this while your fondant is still soft, those blankets and everything, then you're going to be able to reshape it and keep it moving. I'm making a little decorative pillow here. This is the same color blue fondant as the one blanket. I made a little X in the center of it, put a little button in the middle of it. I've got some little tassel things on the end, on the four corners, just again to make it more interesting looking to set the stage a little bit more as it were. I'm going with an accent blanket here because of very falmsy. We have accent Afghans on our blankets. 
which I don't, but <laughs> again, otherwise it'd be kind of boring looking. I'm, I'm trying to get a little more color in here. So I'm just using my knife to actually cut the edges to make it look a little tasseled. I'm using a paper towel and I'm making print marks, which you can't see unfortunately, so that it looks like it has some texture. It's not just smooth fondant. And I'm just draping it over the bed in a dramatic swoosh. <laughs> Another swoosh with the swoops and swishes. Now it's time for the footboard. I'm pressing it on. I painted a little bit of water onto it in order to make it stick a little bit better. And there it goes. Just make sure when you place it, if you do have a bit of a raise off of the ground, that you have it that height. Putting the headboard on as well. I'm going to have to adjust my pillows a little bit because now that the headboard is on, I want them to sit a little bit nicer. And that's it. So a bed is really easy to make and you can go in a ton of different directions with it. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe because it helps me out as well. Check out my other videos. I've got a ton of them out there on all different themes. And as always, thank you for watching Cake Tastic Cakes.